The pivotal moment in Mrs Robinson's disgrace takes place in a bedroom in Boulogne in May 1856. Isabella Robinson and her family had been staying in Boulogne, a French seaside town, over the winter. And in May, she fell ill. And as she was lying in her bed in a delirious fever, her husband, Henry, came into her bedroom and apparently heard her murmuring the names of other men. And his suspicions aroused, he went to her writing desk, which seems to have been unlocked, and took out of it a private diary in which she had written for the previous five years, and he read it. And in the diary, he read that his wife hated him. Um, he read also that over the previous five years, she had harboured all kinds of lustful feelings for other men, and her feelings for one man in particular, a young man called Edward Lane, had apparently been consummated um, in 1854. Henry was furious and he immediately left Boulogne for England, taking the diary with him, as well as their two young sons. And when he got back to England, he plotted how to take his revenge on his wife. I was um, fascinated by this moment of the invasion of Isabella's privacy as she lay semi-conscious and the way in which this document, which had been her consolation and confidant in a, in a moment was transformed into, as soon as her husband read it, became a public document and her words became weapons which could be used against her, um, which is in fact just what he did. Henry sued for divorce back in England and when the new court of divorce and matrimonial causes opened in 1858, he used her diary as his chief evidence of her adultery. And she, in turn, used the diary as evidence that she was delusional and that um, all the incriminating entries were actually fictional.